trail head full of zombies I met a strange lady She made me nervous She took me in and gave me breakfast And she said Do you come from a land down under Where women go and men plunder Can't you hear, can't you hear the thunder Yeah, yeah You better run Take cover. Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Down Under by Men at Work. All time classic Aussie hit. There's, I mean, I know it's really cliche, but there's something about this song for Aussies that just, it's like it's part of your DNA. It just makes me feel happy and it makes me feel homesick almost playing and listening to this song. It's, it's just super cool. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you a kind of an acoustic arrangement of the song where I've pulled out a few of the, the key parts the guitar, key guitar parts that I feel work really well as a kind of an acoustic arrangement is a little bit similar to the way that Colin Hay plays it when I've seen him uh, do it on his own, but not exactly the same. Uh, I will also show you a slightly simplified version as well using a capo. So if you only hit with your open chords and you want to play this song, then there's a way of approaching it doing that as well. But I'm going to start off by showing you a fairly cool arrangement that does require some bar chords, a few little, not super tricky things, but things that you might have to pay a little bit of attention to. So let's get stuck in. So the chords for the very beginning is B minor for two beats, A for two beats, B minor for two beats, and then G to A for one beat each. Three, four, one, two, three, four. But there's a couple of different things. Uh, first of all, on the rhythm of it, I feel like it sounds a bit more like the track. It has the right kind of vibe, this slightly kind of reggae kind of feel to have this... So I'm doing bass note of the B minor, down, up, mute, down, one, and a two, and would be the count. One, and a two, and three, and four, and. Now here, you'll see I'm not playing this A here because you can hear on the record very clearly the guitar goes, uses this little uh, A triad, but you can play it like that, but then you lose the bass. So you can use this chord, which is open 5th string, 11th fret, 9th fret, 10th fret, 9th fret. That way you get that nice movement of the... Okay? If you struggle with doing that A, just play the A as a regular bar chord down 2 frets from the B minor. So massively easier sounds almost as good for me just has that slightly more like the record thing to have but it, it wouldn't you know if you do it, it's not a huge amount of difference between the two so uh Take out what, you know, use whichever version you feel more comfortable with, because being comfortable with what you play is obviously more important than worrying about little minutiae about the top note of a particular chord. So into the verse. Very cool. So this is, it's still B minor. If you wanted to do the chord, you could play B minor. But again, just having this down up on the, the note B, second fret of the fifth string. And then on the uh, note F sharp, which is the fourth fret of the fourth string. Down, up, down, up, down. One E and a two, three, four. This is just an A chord. Just using my first finger bar. Riff again on the B minor. Then G, A. Now you could play full big G and A like that if you want. Or I'm just using that one finger there often. Just playing the third fret, muting the fifth string. Three open strings and muting the thinner string. So we are getting a full G chord there, and then just first finger bar, mini bar there for the A works. Just again, not playing the thinner string, that's really important. One E and a two, three, four. One E and a two, three, four. One E and a two, three, four. One E and a two. Traveling in a fried out combi. Trailhead full of zombies. If 
if you're struggling to do that riff and sing it at the same time, just simplify it and just play a regular B minor and go. Traveling in a fried out combi on a hippie trail head full of zombies. You don't have to do any specific way. I've just, I quite like this song, and having a, you know, pulling out some of those riffs for me makes it feel a lot more like the original recording. So uh, I'd have a go at adding those things in, but and simplify it down to whatever you need to. Into the chorus we have D, A, riff, G, A, D, A, riff, G, A, D. From the land down under, where women glow and men plunder. Can't you hear, can't you hear the thunder? Yeah, yeah. Now strumming, I'm going down, down. So I'm really, I'm thinking just down, down. But I'm probably doing, just keeping my hand moving there. So down, 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 down. Riff. And there's definitely a da 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 Regular chord there if you want. As promised, I'm also going to show you now an easier version that uses the capo at the second fret. It is, in fact, the same chords. Of course, you can play along with the original recording. But once you've got that capo on the second fret, we lose the B minor and uh, uh, being able to play or wanting to play bar chords. So you'd end up with this A minor. To an A minor to G and to A minor to F, G, A minor. On a hippie G at full of A minor, F, G. A minor, I'm at a strange G chord, A minor made me F to G, A minor to G, and then A minor, G, F, G, then A C, C to G, and then A minor, F, G, C, women G, and men A minor, F, G, C, can't you hear, can't you G, the A minor, F to G, Run, you G take A minor. So obviously that simplifies the chords considerably because there are no bar chords, but you do still have to deal with an either an F major seven if you can't play an F bar chord, or you it, maybe it, it's a good tune for you to start your commence battling with the F chord to be able to in, put that into your repertoire. Again, rhythmically, you can play these things really simple, or you can make them real hard. I really encourage beginners to learn a song like this and just simplify the strumming. Much more important than anything else is being in time when you strum. So if you're going to do that song and you went, Traveling in a fried out tombe On a hippie trail head full of zombies Just playing on the beat, that's loads better than going like... Like trying to do some sort of fancy strumming and not be in time. Really, a key thing with the strumming is keeping the hand moving consistently. So, even if you're doing something fancy, it's just about this hand moving. That's all that's going on is the hand moving evenly like that. And I'm able to choose which ones I'm hitting. But this. Once the hand's moving consistently, that's you've got to get that down first of all. Down, 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 down. Notice that I'm going down, 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 rather than going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up. 
just feels a little bit weird. It has got the little bit that the up feeling, but it just it doesn't work as well there. So using all down strums, I think, would be the best starting point. And when I say all down strums, I mean doing down strums on one and two and three and four and mm -hmm. one and two and three and four and one and two and three. I often refer to that as sixteenth note strumming because you've got sixteen possible strums in a bar as opposed to only eight in eighth note strumming, which would be if you went down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one. So that is Down Under. Really hope you enjoy having a go at my little arrangement and making up your own, seeing what works for you, what doesn't, either doing the simple one or a hard one or whatever it is. And uh, I hope you get it together enough to play it at a barbecue near you very, very soon. It's a top, really good fun song, this one at a barbecue, especially in Australia. Everyone knows this one. I don't, I don't know how we just come out of the womb knowing all the words to this one, or at, at least thinking that we know the words, because lots of people get the words completely wrong, particularly in the choruses, but that's a whole... Uh, Another, uh, that's another conversation to be had another time. I uh, hope you have a fantastic day. If you're over on YouTube, really appreciate you hitting the subscribe, the like. Let me know what other Men at Work songs or Colin Hay songs uh, you'd like me to do as well. Colin's a fantastic songwriter and still touring, I gather. Does a great acoustic show you might want to go and check out if he's uh, coming to a town near you. Uh, yeah, have a great day and I'll see you for more very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.